This is Andy Leister, uh, hanging out here at Angler's All today with a couple of my friends. And uh, yeah, we're going to tie up the remote control soft tackle. We'll start by dressing the hook here. And again, just making sure that the uh, all these thread wraps count, uh, keeping the fly as sparse as we can. Um, We'll start with the tail here. I like to use uh, Coke de Leon and uh, just just a few fibers, uh, three or four is plenty. Uh, I'd rather err on the side of too thin than too thick with this fly. Um, and uh, you know, just with less materials, I find you get more motion out of your flies too, which can make a big difference. Um, so tying in the tail here. I like it to be about a little shorter than the shank of the hook. That looks about right. And not letting it roll all over the place. Tie that in. And sometimes I like to unwrap the thread and that'll just really help it to lay nice and smooth. Get a real silky profile there. On our back, we're going to tie in a ribbing material in the gray. Uh, I like to use, use extra small copper wire. Unwrap that thread a little more. Once we have that all covered up nice and neat, we'll go ahead and rib the fly here. A couple counter wraps. It's stopping about two thirds of the way up the hook or so, give or take. It's kind of where I like to capture that. Helicopter that off of there. And then tying in the wing material, um, it is just the white foam you get from um, any type of electronics, hence the name, the remote control. So just uh, uh, get you a nice little piece you can work with here. We'll capture that little point, wrap that back a little ways, and then trimming it nice and short. Give the fly some buoyancy. Definitely helps it emerge uh, having this double wing. And I just kind of like to come in here and round off the edges. You could leave them square, I suppose. I don't think the fish would really care. Um, and then uh, our dubbing material is just a 50-50 blend of uh, ice dub and calabatus and then uh, some gray. Uh, I think it's the Dunn Rabbit here. I have a Wopsy container, but you could use whatever you want, find handy. And again, I'd rather this be on the thinner side than thicker side. Um, so just blend that up real quick and uh, get a little dubbing noodle going on your thread here. You could tie it in with a dubbing loop if you, if you felt inclined, but I find this is just fine. And we'll just go ahead and build up our dubbing ball there and leaving a little space towards the eye of the hook uh, to tie in our hackle. Um, which I like to use um, our Hungarian partridge here. And again, making the materials count, I like to find pretty specific on the, the feather that I choose. I'm going towards the neck or the head of the bird here. He's got his little eyes. It's kind of creepy looking at eh? Um, but yeah, just right off the back of his neck, I find is kind of the right length of fibers. And if you can find one with a little brown in there, I think that's just kind of cool personally, but you could tie it however you want. Um, I like to just take the feather with a fine pair of tweezers and just grasp the very, very end 
trying to capture and utilize the shorter fibers as best you can. Um, it's not a perfect science, but um, getting it small tie-in point uh, really helps a lot, it's particularly with the smaller ones. Um, so just capturing that tip, folding it back, and then we'll come back and make a little base for our wraps. Now, I like to keep uh, this, again, in the spirit of the fly, really sparse. So just one or two, maybe three turns if you were feeling up for it, but definitely really sparse on the hackle is, is good. Again, it just helps ever, all the little fibers to move when you're fishing this fly. There's a, I find that there's a lot of really chunky soft hackles out here. If you like that, that's cool, but I, I like it nice and sparse. All right, so that's tied in. We'll come in with just a little whip finish. Trim that off. And then trying to just find the, uh, the main stem of the hackle feather, not clip anything else you don't want. And that right there is a remote control soft hackle. You can fish these, uh, they work great. Um, swung as a soft tackle, tied under a bobber, tied behind a dry fly. You can gank them up and fish them dry. Fish them in the film. Uh, yeah, I find it's a very versatile pattern. I hope you give it a shot. Thanks so much for watching.